Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. In our today's video, we are going to discuss about monitoring tool for the Oracle databases. You know, when we are working as a Oracle DBA, there is a chance that we can have working on multiple databases. So I am assuming that you are working on 500 databases. So when I'm saying that 500 databases are there, so there may be some databases, dev databases, there may be some test database and we can have a production database. So the total count for this is 500 database. So being Oracle DBA, it is really important for us to manage all those databases. So when I'm saying that we need to manage the databases, basically we need to take care about the database that every database should be up and running and there should not be any impact on the application side because if your database is down definitely your application will not be useful so in that case how you can monitor all those 500 databases if you want to monitor database it is not possible for us to go each and every database run the your sql script and check this database status that is not possible so in order to uh, you know monitor all those database there are two things either you can create your own script or you can use the monitoring tool okay so in this case for oracle database i'm mainly talking about we can use oem which is oracle enterprise manager tool this is one of the best monitoring tool for the oracle databases which is provided by the oracle itself now with this video we will try to understand what are all things can be done with the help of oem so basically though in oracle enterprise manager we have this uh, database server and on the top of this database server we have our oracle database right so we basically uh, install the agent and agent will you know uh, take care of all the database and he will send the information of this database and all the database servers to the OMS and from there itself we will come to know that out of 500 database how many databases are up and running so let's try to understand what are all things can be possible with the help of OEM so with the OEM the first important things that we can do is database status db status so i'm not saying that it will check only for one database all those database who are already registered with this oem we can check the database status not only db status we can also check the listener agent all those status we can check it very easily if in case any of the database goes down definitely the mail will be triggered to the dba group so the second important point is email notification email notification once you get the email notification definitely you can do all the necessary action that needs to be done with the help of dba in that email notification you will come to know about the database name where the problem is there along with that it will also give you the host name all those information will be available with this email and from the email itself you will understand where is the problem so you just need to log into the server connect to the database and do the analysis third important thing is about mount point utilization what is what does it mean you know about the archive destination is there if your archive mount point is getting full definitely your database will go into the hung state so it is not possible for us to go and check the utilization of that mount point so in that case what you can do you can get an email notification for the mount point which is pointing to the archive destination so it is not only for the archive destination mount point all the mount point which are available on the server so that mount point we called it as a partition we will get the notification once it reached to the particular threshold so in oem we can also configure the threshold like your critical and medium 
So the time when it is sending the mail, it will save that it is a critical alarm. So if you set the critical alarm for 90%, you will get the critical alarm. For 80%, you can assume it has a medium alarm. So you can set this threshold also in the OEM itself. Next thing is we can also configure the backup in the OEM. Backup is really important part. When something went wrong, we can use the same backup and we can send it to the we can use the same backup for the restoration purpose. Now in this case, we can write our own script, we can configure and then we can directly fire the backup from the OEM itself. This is all possible with the help of OEM. The most important part about the OEM which I personally like about performance tuning. Performance tuning help. What does it mean? Let's say suddenly your database is going very slow and you don't know what to do. So in that case, being a DBA, what we will do? The first thing you will check about the blocking session. The blocking session, we can check it with the help of OEM very easily. So there is a performance tab. Just go there and check the blocking session. Now, next thing is you will also understand about the top activities which are running on the database server or on the database itself. You will also understand about the SQL queries which are running and the queries which are consuming more resources like your memory, disk, everything. That thing also you can get it with the help of OEM which is again a performance tuning help for us. Next and most important thing is again the reporting. The report like your AWR report, ASH report, ADDM report, all those reports can be fetched with the help of OEM. Again, we can also start up and shut down database with the help of OEM. I'm sorry for my handwriting. My handwriting is not really good. I can understand the things, but you need to manage because I'm also trying to give all those things uh, by saying to you. So start up and shut down also done with the help of OEM, Oracle Database Enterprise Management. So these are all things we can do with the help of OEM. Apart from this, there are again few more things are there that is all possible with the help of OEM including database growth. So sometimes we are in a situation where we need to check the database growth like in August month what was the size of database in September how it is moving how gradually it is increasing the size all those things we need to do with the help of OEM because being a DBA we need to also analyze the size of database. So accordingly we can take the action we can increase the resources. So all those things we can do with the help of OEM. So this is all about the OEM. If you have any queries, please write back to me. If you like the video, please mention it into the comment section. If you want me to improve somewhere, just give me the uh, uh, again your uh, guidance. And if you want me to create any videos based upon any particular topic, you can again comment into the description section. Just let me know about your feedback and all those things. If you want me to train you, you can directly contact me. All the contact details you can get it from the description section or you can get it from here also. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do like, subscribe and share this channel because I want everyone to become a DBA and everyone should have the good understanding about Oracle DBA. It's not about DBA only. It's about all the DBAs who are working because DBA is a, again responsible job. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye for the day.